Okay, everybody. Hey, I'm just giving you a shot from 74 West. About to head into Peoria, Peoria, Illinois. My next order is picking up in Bettendorf, Iowa. I'm still about an hour and a half from there. And we're getting a load going to Chicago Heights, Illinois, which is a bit south of Chicago. So it's a little before noon. It was about, uh, from where I delivered this morning there in, uh, oh, what was the name of that place? East Alton, Illinois. It is about 232 miles from there to Bettendorf. Just giving you a shot of Peoria. It's been a little while since I've been up through here. Crossing the river here, or lake. Sure, what this is. Maybe there'll be a sign up here. Entering Peoria County. Got the Mark Twain Hotel over to the left. old architecture I can see off in the distance you probably can't see it too well but some cool looking structures yeah that last load of uh, brass you know it was quite a mixture of different types of brass pieces and the guy there where I delivered it said that they just take you know they had all kinds of different materials there copper brass other metals he said they they basically I think they just melt down the copper and keep it as copper but the other stuff my understanding was you know they melt it down and kind of blend it together into other types of alloys. He didn't really say what else they did, you know, if they just resell it at that point or what. I kind of think they just resell it because I saw a lot of stacks of little, uh, oh, what do you call them? ingots maybe small ingots I'm kind of guessing that's what they did they melted this other stuff down and made those little ingots and then resell them to other places anyway that's a little shot going through Peoria more on down the road all right folks I believe this is the main entrance according to the signage there's the big sign that says Arconic. I don't know what they do here and I really don't even know what I'm picking up. Okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Let me read this sign here. Looks like the traffic has to go to the right. Got to go to the right. Visitors, parking, and deliveries.
Well, I do not know which way to go at this point. Let me get back to you. Okay, well, turns out that was the wrong entrance. They got some signs here on the road saying shipping and receiving next entrance. <laughs> I wish they'd have put them before the main entrance. Oh man, you know, this place kind of looks familiar to me. I, I'm not sure. Maybe I picked up here um, for Maverick. I'm not sure, but this place kind of looks familiar down here. Anyway, I'm still trying to get in. Oh, yeah, it's frustrating sometimes. I called the phone number on the order. It's not even a working number, so it was no help. Um, but yeah, you know, when you've never been to a place, you don't know uh, even where to go in. This is a huge place with multiple entrances. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get down here and see what's happening. Again, we're in Bettendorf, Iowa. And supposedly, yeah, this, this little street here looks familiar to me. from my Maverick days. And if I'm correct, there's a little guard shack to check in at down here. Let me read these signs as I'm going by. No, I don't think that looks like me. Shipping and receiving ahead on the left. Okay. There's a, some kind of holding lot over here, uh, mud pit, got a few trucks parked over there, hope I don't have to go in there. beds over here. I bet this is, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here before as a flatbedder. I'm going to wait and let this truck get off the, uh, out of the inbound lane over there and then I'll turn in. Wow. Alright. So I didn't have a pickup number with my order. The uh, guard there kept looking through my information wanting a pickup number and there isn't one. So Regardless, he's sending me back here. I got a map. <laughs> you know you're in trouble when they give you a map. But this is a big place. Yeah, I remember picking up here before. I picked up some like coils and sheet steel right over here to the left. And I've also delivered some uh, like aluminum big aluminum blocks I'll call them here before been there a couple times it's been a, it's been a couple of years or more anyway my instructions are to go down this long straight road here and uh, you can see some big water towers off in the distance to the right possibly and uh, the scale that I'm looking for is supposedly down there by the water towers. So we got a ways to go.
Yeah, I'll, I'll pick this up uh, on down the road because this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm getting loaded. There's a scale I weighed in on and I had to turn in there. There's another Oakley truck there now. And then back in up next to this platform. And the loader is over there. And he's picking up with a big forklift. He's just picking up these uh, containers and then dumping them in the truck. And this stuff looks like it's real light. See this stuff here? It's just like real light pieces of aluminum or something. But he's just turning that over, one of those rotating forklifts. I doubt this is gonna be a real heavy load, but we'll see. Nobody has asked me about the weight or how much I'm getting. hardly even registering at this point but that's what we're doing yeah that's just little pieces of uh i don't know what that is aluminum or you can see they got lots of these uh ingots stored out here like i mentioned before i've delivered some ingots like this except much bigger uh, in fact, I think I delivered them way over there somewhere under that crane. But uh, anyway, that's how the loading's going. Okay, guys. So I got loaded. Pretty quick load once it got started. And it's a light load, too. I mean, I've got to get in the trailer. I'll try to show you the load if I get in the trailer. But the, the scale guy told me to take my bows out. I wish I hadn't because I really didn't need to. That other uh, Oakley driver behind me did not take his bows out after he saw the product I was getting. But the scale guy, when I asked him about the bows, he said, yeah, he'd take them out because you never know what kind of stuff is in those bins. So it's one of those things where, you know, in retrospect, I didn't need to take the bows out. But if I hadn't, I might he might have dumped some big heavy stuff on there and bent my bows. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just headed back out towards the guard shack. I've still got to stop and get in there and uh, put my bows back on and roll my tarp over. So that'll take me a few minutes and uh, the customer I'm delivering to in Chicago Heights, Illinois, according to the GPS, it's a little over three hours from here, uh, but I can't, you know, it's about a little before 3 p.m. now, so uh, they quit receiving at 2 p.m. So. I'll have to do that in the morning to see how early they start, but uh, I'll be able to get, you know, at least, <laughs> probably most of the way there today, get there first thing in the morning. Anyway, I'll try to show you the load here in a minute. Okay, guys, so here's the load. I've got my bows put back in. Just giving you a shot, just like little pieces of aluminum shavings. That's what we got. Giving you a good shot of the trailer. All right. Another Oakley truck coming in out there. All right, folks. So it's Wednesday morning. I'm here in Chicago Heights, Illinois. A couple miles back there, I delivered my uh, load to Real Alloys. I didn't get any footage, though, because it was dark I mean it's just now 7 a.m. they opened at 6 and I was there a little bit before 6 along with uh, seven or eight other trucks so it was pretty pretty tight real tight in there and busy because there was a lot of trucks coming in right as they opened up so uh, I did not get any footage real tight place had to turn off the scale and back way down 
Yeah, kind of a tough, tough maneuvering. But it was pretty quick, you know, I got in and out of there in an hour. Now we're going to Detroit to get a uh, another product of aluminum, some sort of shredded aluminum product that goes to Wabash, Indiana. Hopefully I'll be able to get a little more footage of that. And it has to be delivered today in Wabash by 6 p.m. Which should be doable unless I run into some serious traffic delays. Which is possible. I gotta go right into Detroit. But uh, I should miss the rush hour madness because from here my GPS says it's uh, it's four and a half hours to get to the shipper in Detroit. So, uh, it's doable. I should be able to get to the customer, you know, late this afternoon. So that's what we're doing. More later. Okay, folks, we've arrived here in Detroit, Rock City. Supposedly about a mile from my shipper on a very sketchy road. Turn left on Southern Avenue. Sorry, that's my phone map going there. Okay. Point eight miles to forty two point three two zero zero nine zero N. Eighty three point one four six three seven three W on the right. Okay. So supposedly we got, like I said, a little less than a mile down this horrible <laughs> bumpy road here to my shipper, which is called Ferris Cronk. So since I'm having to go so slow here, because this road is so bad, I'll pick this up on down the road a little bit. Okay guys, I just scaled in. It's a busy place. Main scale can a couple of us across to get out. Okay. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> she just said come off the scale to the left, so uh, that's what I did. Woo, this is a junkyard. Man. They got all kinds of junk in here. Hey, at least it ain't a mud hole yet. Okay, so, uh... I appreciate it. Have a good day. I don't know... I don't know where I'm supposed to go, really, beyond here. I'm probably getting some of this uh, Next truck out on the scale. shredded Stone stuff. Stone Transport, triple two, one four, loaded with fluff for Eagle Valley. Oh yeah. Just giving you a shot of it. Okay, so, uh, that front end loader back there told me I needed to go around to the west side and I'd see another loader over there. Um, okay, I guess I gotta go around this pile here. They got a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Well, I 
don't think I can make this left turn. No, I ain't going in there. <laughs> so I guess I gotta make this left turn. see another loader oh maybe that's him over there I, I don't know then maybe he, he knows what I'm getting uh, that pile over there to the right says fluff let me see which way I'm supposed to go okay guys this loader here to the left just hollered at me on the CB told me to come on down he'd tell me when to stop and to hang to the right as much as I could So I'm getting, my work order says shredded aluminum, so this shouldn't be a real heavy load. That's good right there. Okay, Let's see if we can get loaded. Okay guys, so here's, uh, you know, here's a, it definitely looks like shredded aluminum. Yeah, this shouldn't weigh that much for sure. Just giving you a look at it. He said I did not need to take my bows out. And I guess we'll be circling around back that way. So I'll show you a dump if I can. Here he comes, giving me a good look at it. He doesn't have a lot of room to maneuver. All right, there we go. So yeah, this is just little pieces of uh, actual, just for real, shredded aluminum. And it looks like he has a scale on his uh, lift there, so he's keeping track of the weight, it looks like. So, it's a messy operation, that's for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, nice and noisy. Nothing like the sound of shredded aluminum in the morning. Okay, so that's how it's gonna work. Or down the road.